Metro passengers are on edge tonight after a murder on one of the trains this morning. We're told a woman was shot and killed at the Hollywood and Vine station. KCAL 9's Rick Montanez spoke to passengers who say they aren't surprised to hear about this kind of violence, unfortunately. Right now, police are looking for the man who shot and killed a woman on the Metro B Line train and then left the scene down the iconic Hollywood Walk of Fame. People don't want to see crazy things happening in their city. This man and his partner are regulars on the Metro. They say as tragic as it is to hear about this murder, they're prepared for anything on the train. I'm going like, oh, I have to watch out. I have to be careful. I have to be ready in case anything happens. I have a pepper spray, you know, just because I'm like, I can't be without something to defend myself. LAPD says just after five Sunday morning, witnesses saw the victim in an argument on the train with a man they described as agitated. Moments later, as the train pulled up to the Hollywood and Vine stop, he shot her and ran off. Witnesses performed CPR, but the woman later died at a hospital. LAPD is looking at security video from the many cameras at the station and on the train to identify the killer. I just learned to keep to myself. Don't don't look, don't say anything. Passengers tell us they're always on alert when riding the Metro, especially after hearing about recent violence. Back on September 16th, a man was shot and killed in downtown LA after he got off the train at Washington and Long Beach. Then on September 24th at the Metro station in Willowbrook, Four people were shot, three of them critically injured. I think everybody's seen things that like make them nervous on the trains. Like you hope that people protect each other, but you know there are times when like you're alone on a car and like you, you never know what could happen. I still got to take the train every day, so I just hope that we just get a better control of who's about, I don't know, just keeping it safe. As for this recent homicide, LAPD detectives say they're not sure if the shooter knew this woman or if this was a chance encounter. Police tell me they're reviewing security footage, but they're not ready to release any of those images. They say it may be difficult to see the shooter's face because he was wearing a hat and a mask. Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.